Hello and welcome to my Synfig startup tutorial for all newcomers to Synfig that wish to get started as soon as possible. Now, tis the month of giving, so I'll be giving this video, going into the very basic details that's necessary to start creating images and or animations. I must, however, warn that there is nothing advanced within this video, and that beginners should continue practicing and experimenting, even if you dislike your first few finished products. Plus, I would encourage that you go to the Synfig forums and seeing how others have fared in their own products, so that you may expand upon your own capabilities. I also recommend taking your time and scrolling over icons to get familiar with the UI if certain things aren't clear within this video. Now, as posted before you, is the Synfig window that you'll be confronted with after a successful installation and execution of the program. This version I'm using is 1.0.2 and will serve as the basis for all basic knowledge within Synfig, despite updates and changes over time, unless a drastic change within Synfig occurs, of which I will update or redo this video upon gaining such knowledge. Here, in the highlighted box from left to right, is your Create Document, Open Document, Save, Save As, along with the undo and redo buttons next to them. Within the toolbar above, hold the options necessary to changing or rendering the synfig file. Under File is Preview and Render, which allow you to preview your animation or to render the animation or image in various settings. Now, if you select Canvas, then Properties, a secondary window will allow you to edit the resolution, frames per second, and duration of the animation. Any new Synfig file will always have a resolution of 480 by 270, 24 frames per second, and a 5 second duration. Along with this, go to Edit, then Preferences, and you should have another secondary window appear. Within that window are tabs on the top of it which should read from left to right, Gamma, Miscellaneous, Document, and Render. Select Miscellaneous, and you can alter the settings of how the timestamp, unit system, and auto backup interval values are. My current settings is as is in this picture. Now, you know how to manipulate the settings to whatever you like within Synfig. Now highlighted within those five boxes are your necessary but basic tools for Synfig. From left to right, top to bottom is your Transform, Scaling, Rotate, Spline, and Zoom tools. Your Transform tool is essentially your mouse that will allow you to alter the shapes and sizes of your splines. Your Scaling Tool and Rotate Tool are a bit self-explanatory as the Scaling Tool allows the resizing of shapes and Rotate Tool rotates your shapes. However, your Transform Tool can access the Rotate Tool simply by holding the left control button and then left clicking on your selected splines to then rotate them. Your Spline Tool is how you create your images by creating points, or splines, on your canvas to then alter to shape into the image you desire. Finally, your Zoom Tool, which again is self-explanatory, but can be accessed in two different ways outside of the Tool button. First, is using your mouse wheel if you have one, or within this highlighted box and selecting the red box will allow you to access a different window that will allow the adjustment of the zoom level with its slider. You now have the basic elements to create images, but not animation, so I'll be going through the final part, so if you'd like, please get Tracer off my back. Now, select your spline tool, but do not do anything else. Within the blue box is the settings available before you set your spline within the canvas, and the red box are the settings that will appear after you set your spline within the canvas. Now, create three points within the canvas, then select one of the three points by right-clicking them, and select Loop. Once that is done, select your Transform tool, and it will set the three points following the settings previously mentioned in the window to the right. The Other Settings window at the bottom left of your screen will allow adjustments of your set splines and are worth messing around with to understand how they interact. Now, clicking on the highlighted box will bring you out of the spline settings and into the Timeline window, which will allow you to set timestamps for animating. 
First though, you must select this button, which alters between animation on and off. As a necessity, always plan out your animation, then have them all drawn before animating. Otherwise, you will encounter problems during the animation when you attempt to add more images. Now that animation mode is on, go into your timeline and create three additional timestamps by first entering the time frame within this box. Then going back into the timeline and pushing this button to put in place as a reference for the animation. As an example, you can put 1s 12f or 1 second 12 frames, then 2s, and finally 3s 6f or 3 seconds 6 frames as your three timestamps. In each of those timestamps, alter your splines in any way, whether it would be location, rotation, or scale, as it does not matter as long as it is different from each timestamp. Once you've completed that, go ahead and go into your toolbar and select File, then Preview. Once it's done rendering, go ahead and push Play, and it will show the animation of your altering triangle. Now you know how to create images, then animate them. All that's left is for you to play around with Synfig to get familiar with it. Of course, being chased by Tracer has made me turn into the bearer of bad news. So listen carefully as it is beyond important, unless you like raging and crying. First, I omitted how to render due to my past experience with Synfig and it being unreliable. The render options is similar to the canvas options, but setting target to FFmpeg so that Synfig renders the animation has had mixed results. So I changed the quality to 1 and anti-aliasing to 31, as that's the max, then render my animations in PNG to then assemble them in Blender 3D. It's more reliable and there are no mishaps. In addition to this is the crashing, which will most likely set you off. First and foremost, never open another Synfig file from your desktop if Synfig is already running or it will crash. In addition, don't keep using Synfig if it's slowing down or it will crash eventually, usually from using the undo button, but the cause of slowing down is still unknown even to me. Hopefully this video has proven to be useful, and if anyone has any questions that may need to be answered, then comment below and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. In addition, I won't be making anything more advanced, as getting better at Synfig requires you getting better at drawing, so if you wish to get better at Synfig is entirely up to you. So, best of wishes to you in whatever it is you wish to create, and bye!